You want to know what real life nursing is all about? This is the Daily Round Show by NRSNG.com. Hey guys, Susan here with NRSNG. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about hanging some blood. I have some O negative blood here. Um, and whenever you hang blood, you want to make sure that you also have a bolus of normal saline to go along with it. This is what blood tubing looks like. This is a leukodepleted filter. Um, so you want to make sure that you have normal saline touch it um, all the way up to the middle so that you don't have any of your red blood cells hitting the filter and potentially hemolyzing. Before you start, you clamp and make sure that every single clamp that you have is closed, all the rollers. The first thing you want to spike is your normal saline. And then you will take this and squeeze it in so that it comes up to at least halfway. Do you have a, are you, are you trauma? And then you clear it all the way down your line. You want to close off your clamp. This is the most important part. You close off this clamp so that your blood, when you spike it, doesn't end up going back up into your bag. And then you open up your blood. Come on. And you want to make sure you spike it in with all the clamps closed like we had. And then I'm going to open this clamp first. And then you're ready to um, hang it on your patient. Once you hang it on your patient, you will start this clamp open. And see how the blood is starting to come down? Now, the most important thing for you to remember is that you take your vital signs, especially your temperature before you start hanging your blood, and that you need to be taking your vital signs every five minutes. If your patient starts to have a hemolytic reaction, you stop the blood immediately. Just completely stop it, take the line off, and flush it with normal saline. Um, and then you would treat, if they have a fever, you would treat them with um, Tylenol or whatever you guys have ordered on your unit. Okay.